John's Bistro, Episode 3, by Rookie Managers. Now that John has successfully identified his restaurant's strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats from completing a SWOT analysis, the time is now to act on the results. John has called the whole staff into his office to brainstorm new marketing ideas and efforts to bring back old business, to develop new customers, all through using the classical decision-making process. Thank you for coming, everyone. Now let's get started. I summoned everyone here because of the new threat down the road. What I would like for all of us to do is by using the classical decision-making model to come up with new marketing strategies to bring back business. Yes, I think this is a great idea. Jake and Stacy, do you want to start off with any ideas you may have? Well, I'd like to start off by saying I feel we should be using the rational approach, which is the seven-step process which should, hypothetically, produce the best possible result. Yeah, I agree with Stacy. Well, I want to start off and say that I feel we should go off, go after a younger crowd, ages 18 to 40. Yeah, yeah, I like the sound of that. How do we get them here, though? Well, for the rational approach, step one and two are already complete. Step one being identify a threat and two, develop an objective. Now, the real question is, how do we get the business we want in here? Great question, Jake. That just leads us to, ge to step three, which is generating alternatives. Well, let's all come up with three ideas together. I'll start. To get our objective, I think we could offer a late night happy hour after 8 p.m. Because I find that I, what I've seen after years of being in business is that young people like to go out later. And we could get this spread throughout the town through advertising on social media websites because young people are also known to use those as well. I think hosting live music events and having DJs to offer some form of entertainment could also help bring in the younger crowd too. What if we just lowered prices? Honestly, out of all of these ideas for part four of the uh, seven step process, I feel that John's idea is the best and will be the most efficient. Well, it's time for step five and step seven. Let's implement our decision. Wait, shouldn't we have a fallback plan using the bounded rational approach maybe? Great idea. I feel we should go and offer two free appetizers when a party of 10 or more books a reservation. Well, that could cost us money, but you know what? I think that's a pretty good idea too. That's a pretty good, quick, and efficient strategy there. The The parties of 10 or more, they're, they're going to spend so much money that those sunk cost of the two appetizers will be erased immediately. All right, team, we've got this. Let's do this. Man, step seven has not been in our favor. Our efforts haven't worked at all. This place is completely empty. It's okay, John. We'll figure it out. How, though? By tuning in next time on John's Bistro.